The official first show yeah. of the Return of the Ghetto Legends Tour. Gonna be What's up? in Make It. Make it! 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 We're making Georgia! We're making Georgia! Say what? Say what? What he make? You're crazy as hell, boy. This is the only place where you be watching the news and everybody in the neighborhood got shot. <laughs> With a revolver. You like these niggas. <laughs> we in Baker. Baker, Georgia. Where we at? Where we at? We in Baker. Hey, I'm Carlos Miller, and if you haven't heard, Blue Chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom by offering chewable tablets that can help men get stronger and longer lasting erections. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. And it ships right to your door in a discreet package. Blue Chew's tablets helps men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all form of erectile dysfunction. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code 85SOUTH at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping, that's bluechew.com, promo code 85SELF. That's right. That's bluechew.com, promo code 85SELF to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. Bluechew.com and go get you some. I said bluechew.com and go get you some. Gonna you make love to your lady. <laughs> For a long, long time, you gonna hit him with that wood. I swear to God, I ain't lying. Sexual stimulant. What it do? Make it me get hard. What it do? Sexual stimulant. What it do? It make it me get hard. He got left like this. Yeah, fucked up with a half a tank top on, nigga. This one, right. this one, a cell phone bill was six, seven hundred dollars a month. Exactly. How did they find? Hey, it? hold up, wait, pause this. This too freaky. Whoop. Somebody get pregnant off this. <laughs> Let's get to the J-O-N original so we can get this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, right. That was too nasty. That was yeah, this nigga right here. Just I don't know what you trying. Nigga trying to fuck a pretty V on the low. Nigga slipped that one in. Nigga been having that shit in the cut for years. It's like when I get my shot, I know <laughs> just how to approach. Hey, wait, hey, man, right. hey, like. hey, 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 you look like you ready to pull your dick out and start fucking right here. Nigga tried to slip that in. That nigga was like, here's my chance. Fuck man. Man, nigga, I don't know, man. I don't know. This, this sounds like the extra, extra boys you get the extra man on on Mario, nigga. <laughs> this is a casino okay. level on Sonic. <laughs> this is our new face for that. You remember this? You did a show with T.I., uh, Tokyo Jets, and you Hey, this sounds like the shit that they play when they put you on hold when you call asking where your GED is. <laughs> that was during the heart of the pandemic. The heart of the pandemic is still trying to work. Do you know new face? Huh? This nigga was everywhere. Like when you your first show that you ever did, he probably was there. I just showed her a moment. Yeah, he just, her, her he just show. showed me. Word, yeah, he, he just was showed there. me. He was there. New face was there. You know he, who this nigga is. He, he is a <laughs> nigga in the Illuminati, man. The story. Yeah. Ain't he no just, doubt about it, man. I'm telling you. He just be in the right place at the right time. Whenever they let us in the Illuminati, they gonna open the door. New <laughs> face gonna be standing there like. <laughs> I've been courting you niggas for years. But you think well, they're gonna let us in? Yeah, new face gonna be there. Right, new face gonna be there. Going. You say you ain't going? Fuck, well, I got to see. I had some chances to go. I said, no. Oh, so really? Yeah. And you ain't going? Nah, going. Nah, going. Nah, going. Nah, going. Nah, going. Nah. Are you turning your chance down? Yes. Uh, you said chances, so you turned down more than one thing. Repeatedly. Damn. Yeah. You turned them down repeatedly. Why you ain't tell me? I know, right? Then you talk you through I, that one, my nigga. Because y'all niggas might have been like, call him back. Yeah, nah, no, we didn't talk you through that one, brother. Call him back. Nigga. See, call him back, see if you. You know what I mean? That's like when you send a nigga no. to the party to see if it's jumping before you go. We're like, yeah, man, you go in, go in there, bro. See who in there, bro. <laughs> see who in there, my nigga. Nah, I look at who got it without him. 
<laughs> I look at who got it without him, and I'm like, I can be happy right here. <laughs> right, yeah. I can be happy right here. Yeah, that's, it I, just, I don't I, need all that. I don't extra. like to sell your soul part of it that they say you got to do. Like, they, like they, everybody's soul ain't work out. Y'all ain't got like no petty soul box that I can use for what? It's, it's about volume. It ain't about quantity. It ain't about quality. It's about quantity. quantity. See, so the thing is, the more souls they get, the it don't matter is, if you, but if you a good soul, they really want you. And, and that's you what I'm saying. That's the thing. You don't really know what you need your soul for. So a lot of motherfuckers been sold that shit. And then need it back. Now, now they don't know that the shit yeah. that got real. It got real. You Niggas need was that ass money. best with they soul. Yeah. Right. Nigga, you already, you already sold your soul? What? And you better your soul again? And the is price went up. You know how mad you would be if the market jumped and you sold your shit? <laughs> you got out of crypto too quick. <laughs> you got out of crypto too quick. You sold your soul too early. <laughs> Nigga, the price of souls and went up. I'm going you. 300%. They <laughs> only gave me $25. Nigga, souls is up, right? <laughs> what if they switch it and they don't want souls no more? They were like, we don't even do that no more. We want your feet. <laughs> Both feet. Kind of. You gonna be a blade running motherfucker? You gonna be Tink Tink? Tink Tink, for real. Yeah. All the way. Live. <laughs> To see the smoke. It's you don't want it. You don't want it. You don't want it. But look, I have a question about the the smoke. The so if people smoke, do you get high off like all that? Oh, all what? All oh, what? This. What's going on? The little. You see that's coming towards you. Like let me let me put. This is that in you now? You. Oh no! You, oh, you mean contact? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. can, but not like this. It's too. Not open unless you space. country wing. Oh. <laughs> country yeah. Wayne get high through his ass. Yeah, Country Wayne. He has to. He country has Wayne would just fuck with low. Country There's Wayne no way. no way. It's the only, only motherfucker come on here and get contact high. Ain't no way. It's too much space. You get to get contact high, you got to be like in the Kia Sorento or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. You got to be in that. small. What's the call? A them Fiat. hamsters? Them hamsters was there. Yeah, yeah, it's a Fiat. Kia Soul. Kia Soul or Fiat. What the fuck, mother? Yeah, that's it. Uh, who came in there looking know. for the hamster car? That's what I want to know. Hey, oh. man, y'all got y'all got that hamster car? Oh, nigga. Oh, clearly clearly that shit work, because you see them everywhere. All the way. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I want to know if people get high out of that. Look, contact. You feel high? Okay. No. Oh, OK. You won't. It's too much open space in here, so. And they got ventilation. I don't know if this shit work, but it's in here. Yeah. It, it look good. Yeah, it look good. This it's show. I don't know if it really work, but you straight. This shit ain't never been turned on, to tell you the truth. I know. No, I'm just playing. I feel like I'm about to have a seizure with this beat on. It's the epilepsy. Yeah. Yeah, the epilepsy. Bro, play me something to coincide with my hat. Epilepsy. Oh, we're going rock and roll? OK. Yeah. I fuck with it. This, this that shit really kind of hard. Yeah, yeah, that's what it sounds like when a nigga about to get his revenge. Yeah. 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 Every movie. <laughs> nigga See a lot of niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when 50 Cent started getting strong after they got shot on Get Rich and Die Trying, that's that should have played this right here. <laughs> this is definitely a, 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 a shady aftermath of uh, <laughs> G Unit beat. This is definitely a. Uh, oh, it's sweaty. I bet he didn't know that I had the coffee when it was off me. <laughs> <laughs> that shit hard. I like that shit. Mystical, look at this. This mystical for us. Mystical. Gunner. Gunner won anything with a guitar. Bust rhymes. Yeah, that's a good one. Twister. Oh, Anybody Twister. wanna come in the motherfucker talking? Yeah, that'd be dope. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Pretty V, she could do this shit, cause she don't even have to speak, say no words. <laughs> she rap. Pretty V will fuck that Pretty V will fuck this up. She got the best noises. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, that was hard. No, we need part two of that. See, I can even do it like going. Chico, though. Chico, you did faster than me. That's hard. Yeah. You can keep that going. See? That shit right there called that bitch gibberish one. And we just keep making them bitches over and over again, They They already doing that. What was one? What was the little Corvette song? Damn, we at that phase of life. But what would that do? Do 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 do. What the God damn it! Oh shit! Check engine light. Some shit. We we them niggas now. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. I ain't there yet. 
I know what the yeah. nigga was trying to say. At least I told myself I did. In a minute, man, man. See, yeah, so you ain't. See, in a minute, so you man, man. You man. Just, it's in fatherhood. See, my daughter 12, so she keep me abreast of all the language that I don't understand. So she had me up to date on what the nigga was, was doing. What on he that was song. saying? Nothing, but that's oh, the man. thing. They just enjoy the fact that they can say nothing and know the words. Bro, don't listen so to they do it no the music okay. that you like around your kids, man. That they, you like? Yeah. Don't do that. What they do? They gonna make you not like it. What he said? It don't matter how cool this shit is. Really? That's what we're doing? That's what we're doing? <laughs> Looking pretty big. I'm, I'm riding with my son. the smoke, pretty V. What, you got a contract with somebody? You trying to do? Wait, <laughs> stop smoking about Pretty V. All right, here, yeah, put it out. Pretty V got a contract with, with the, the people that make them goddamn commercials for the cigarettes. <laughs> she was coming at me, I'm like, smoke. put the weed out, man. <laughs> and Clay about to roll up again. I just see him sucking yeah. on one. one. He smoked blunts yes. after oh, he blunts. Yeah. Oh, he, he do? Going, yeah, he's yeah. celebrating. Yeah. I'm oh. trying to get an uh, Olympic started for these niggas because I'm telling you, I'd be the, I fund them. Like the niggas that I come Chicken, around, I do, but I don't count myself because I'm around these niggas. Like one blunt <laughs> lasts me a whole fortnight. Like, you know what I'm saying? What's one, that, 40 days? A, a good fortnight, man. One I blunt, thought fortnight was a weekend. Uh, it don't matter. Whatever it is, I don't know what it is, but I know it's more than what it is. I thought it was a long weekend. I think it's just a weekend. <laughs> Whatever it is, it'll last me a fortnight. One blunt, nigga. I hit, Three, four times, I'm good. These niggas be smoking like they not gonna get to smoke tomorrow. Yeah, I be trying to get high enough to forget some shit. That's a good. That's a good point. Do you get high enough to forget important shit or shit that you just don't want to remember? Which one is? It? Oh, I try to get high enough to enjoy the important shit. Okay. But high enough to forget all the shit that I ain't give a fuck about. Okay. You know how people be like, and then we gonna catch up and we go do this, and then it's like in your mind, you're like, nope, not fucking with that. But you're not letting them know that. We do that for you automatically. <laughs> Some shit that you're not interested in, you will totally forget about that shit. Like, man, I had call you, why you call me back? I didn't give a fuck, but the, uh, you could just say, I was high. That's the nicest way of telling somebody I didn't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. yeah, see, if you I, ever ask anybody what happened, and they were just like, man, I was high. They, they didn't run out of shit to tell you. Yeah. That's the truth. But see, that's a part of it that fuck with me. Like, the, the shit that didn't make me forget be shit that make me say, you know, I need to put this shit out. Because when you walk around the house for 30 minutes looking for your keys with your keys in your hand, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're like, you know what? Ah, yeah, this ain't. It's Nigga, I was so high the other day. That. My fucking that? remote so fell in the couch, and I was that? like, I gotta buy another TV. <laughs> You Cause I looked for the remote for the longest, and I was like, I'm just gonna buy another TV. <laughs> but then I hit the weed again, and that bitch was like, reach down in that bitch and bend your fingers. This was right when you had the TVs pulled up on your phone. Then you. Was I had the looking. bitch in the cart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna have to unplug this one. Pretty V. What they do? Hold up, before you even say that, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we do. We like to build some suspense and then reintroduce you to what we had introduced you we to. We was already, yeah. Would you feel they me? They love that part, though. First of all, welcome back, oh, Chico yeah, Bean. Man. Yeah, man. 85 percenters. Yeah. Have been concerned about you. They're gonna talk about you. Your thighs is out. Man. Uh, listen, man, these are, nice, yourself, man. Man. these are some nice shorts, man. These shorts, you know. What the fuck you got in your pockets, nigga? Uh, you know, man, you know what? My wallet game then went up since my mama passed away. I feel like I had more stuff in my wallet now. Cause yeah. You got a lot of paperwork and stuff to deal with when you go through becoming that level of a grown man. Yeah. Like, I was a grown man before my mama passed, but now I'm an adult male. Yeah. Like, it's, it changes you, bro. It changed you completely. Now I walk around yeah. with a fat wallet in my pocket and all that. Like Don't I'm, know I'm who the new rappers are. No. I mean, I still keep up with the new rappers as much as I can, but I've been listening to a lot of the spinners recently, man. <laughs> I've been riding around listening to, how could I let you get away? That shit just make you fit. See, look at Cat. Cat, next thing you know, my short, you see my thighs now, I'm gonna come back here, ain't not gonna be showing but the, my ankles. Nigga, I'm gonna have <laughs> Cat shorts. Man. And that's the thing, man, to all the 85 percenters, man, I love y'all, thank y'all, man. Like, seeing all of the messages and everything that y'all sent, yeah. you know, telling me how we got y'all through tough times, man, it, it, it was, you know, it was beautiful. And just people walking up on me and just saying, hey, man, where the fuck you been, bro? I'm like, nigga, my mama died. 
<laughs> like, bro, like, niggas be like, oh, well, all right, I was just making sure you wasn't just bullshit. And I'm like, nah, Amen. nigga, my mama passed away. Mm. So, you know, you got to kind of go through a whole different transition when something like that happened. Los, you understand, you know, you was a, a, a big beacon of, of understanding and helping me get through the process up until this point because it's day to day. But, you know what I mean? Like, just all the love that y'all show, man, and all the messages and all of that. I mean, just, I got thousands of messages of just people telling me how them watching us have helped them through all types of situations and it just made me realize man i didn't put a lot of good energy into the world so you got to receive it at that time because nigga that shit was fucking crazy like she was here then she wasn't no more like it happened like that it wasn't like no situation where we was able to you know really build up to it like she caught covid she had a pre-existing condition she caught covid on the 27th she died on may 4th so it was like just like that and then the whole process was just to change you, but just, you know, everything that I've gotten from this family right here has helped me tremendously, man. So, you know, I just got to say to all the 85 percenters out there, thank you. And, and everybody that's asking me, man, you still with the 85 South Show? Nigga, that's like asking if JG still with Wentworth. Nigga, it just... You can't, I can't leave this shit my shit. Like, nigga, I can't stop. I ain't no quitting. I wish I would be like, man, I can't do this shit no more. Joe be like, bullshit? <laughs> bullshit, you can't. <laughs> yes, you can. I got you for 10 more records, motherfucker. <laughs> you sign here for 10 more records. So it's just, it's beautiful, man, to just be back in the, the space, but just having all, and I just want to tell everybody, man, to thank y'all for being there. You know what I mean? Like, it was beautiful, man. Like, the service was, it was tough getting up to that point because I never had to plan a funeral before. And the first one I had to plan was for my mama, nigga. So it was like a hell of a journey. But that that service, man, to have all y'all there, Los got up and spoke. And I know how tough it was for you, being as though, you know, you had went through that before and, and how the relationship you had with my mama. And just when I seen Joe there, I was like, oh, nigga, it's real. I didn't think Joe was coming. I mean, not because he don't love me, but just because Joe don't give a fuck about nothing. <laughs> Joe don't give a fuck about, when I seen Joe, I was like, oh, this shit is real. Joe came, Cat was dressed like he worked for the funeral home. <laughs> you know how I many niggas I had to stop asking from asking Cat for obituary? Like, man, man, I asked your man over there for obituary, my nigga, he ain't getting, I'm like, man, that nigga don't work for the funeral home, man, this is my man, Cat. <laughs> so, oh, you know, it was it was beautiful, man, but, you know, rest in peace to Wanda, man, and, uh, you know, Know, to everybody, I appreciate all the love, man. But it's, you know, we gonna keep pushing because that's what we gotta do, man. So love yeah. all the way man, across the board. Back, man. Back. Back. Yeah, on a lighter note, man. Oh, man, Clayton English is in He's here. A father, man. Yeah. Yeah. This is the club I wanted to get into. <laughs> Why? <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm glad. I'm glad it's. I'm glad it's there. But you know, it's. it's that's what they don't understand. Like you just said, they be asking you, where you been? Where you at? Life. Life be happening. They think we just exist on this screen. Like how when you was little, you watch cartoons. Like, life be happening, right. bro. Like, for all of us. So, right. yeah, I don't think they get that. If you don't see somebody, it don't mean some bad. they don't exist no more. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. All so. the way. Hey, I'm Carlos Miller, and if you haven't heard, Blue Chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom by offering chewable tablets that can help men get stronger and longer-lasting erections. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. And it ships right to your door in a discreet package. Blue Chew's tablets helps men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all form of erectile dysfunction. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code 85SOUTH at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code 85SOUTH. That's right. That's BlueChew.com, promo code 85SOUTH to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. BlueChew.com and go get you some. I said bluechew.com and go get you some. You gonna make love to your lady for a long, long time. You gonna hit them with that wood. I swear to God, I ain't lying. Sexual stimulant. What it do? Make it me get hard. What it do? Sexual stimulant. What it do? 
It make me get hot. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. And 85 South Show listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com backslash 85 South. I'm Clayton Eglin. Is there something interfering with your happiness? Or is it preventing you from achieving your goals? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. The service is available for clients worldwide, and you can start communicating in under 48 hours. Get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. It's not a crisis line. It's not a self-help line. It is professional counseling done securely online. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. Visit BetterHelp.com backslash 85South. That's BetterHelp, Better, H-E-L-P, and join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. So let me ask you this. As Hold a, as on, listen, we got to do this. We got to introduce... That? Oh, well, yeah. We got to introduce. She, she, she we just no had a lot of catching up to do. She don't need no yeah, introduction. What they do. Look, she, she do so <laughs> much, we all going to introduce her. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> one, of, one of the most entertaining ladies that's in the entertainment industry right now. If there was ever a female version of DC that's super hype, that keep it crunk, that you ain't never seen in a bad mood, you get what I'm saying? Uh, entrepreneur. Uh, she has thousands of products for sale. City trends uh, everywhere. Come on. You can find her at Walmart, Target. Come on. Uh, she is blowing up social media with sketches with Desi Banks, the crazy girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, come Peanut on. Peanut and them mama. Every day. Girl, we would literally be here. Look, she'd be in movies and shit, <laughs> wilding out. All that. Uh, BET Awards. Keep she'd on. be over there with Quake Quake and them. She got records <laughs> out. She'd make music. Quake she'd make. Them. Uh, she do shit for the kids. Damn. Oh, damn. And kids. she the only person I've ever seen continuously beat the shit out of an invisible bitch. I mean, she be dogging this invisible. I don't know who this invisible bitch is you've been whooping all these years, but she need to leave you alone. All the way. For real. That's Paul A. girlfriend. Oh, word. Exactly. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Pretty V is in the trap. Shit, did we name everything? Nah, she got the most stuff. We gonna let her name. Bro, she got weave. Uh, eyelashes, <laughs> she got Bluetooth speakers, uh, them little things that go on to keep your head, she got some she of that. She got some shit you can stick in the shower when you listen yeah. to music. Yeah. She about to come out with her own Socks. vibrators. I she got the new rolls. I'm telling, I'm telling. You know what I mean? She got the vibrators coming out, nigga. You got bonnets? She been selling bonnets yeah, and, and, and rolls. Yeah. Monique, those, those little wrench in your thing, mm-hmm. you felt some type of way about what I mean? Business booming. Did you got airport bonnets? Airport bonnets. Peter yeah. Mom bonnets. Throw it on, rolls. Call it a day. What? Welcome to the trap. Pretty V. What they do, y'all? This ain't your first time in the trap, but this trap. Yeah. I, the, last, the first time it was when me and me Simone went. Uh-huh. Right? It was on the other side mm-hmm. of the town. Yeah, thank y'all so much. Y'all know what's happening here, what they do. Yeah, what's going right on, man? What they 85% do? has been wanting to hear from you and catch up with you and see I'm what you got yet. going on. We slid it now, came in. Now, you from Miami. Miami. All the way from Miami. Now, mm-hmm. now, a lot of people probably don't see, like, we real in tune with culture everywhere because we've yeah. been all over. And you let that Miami hang out a lot in what you do. Yeah. Like, do you feel like that's something you do because you're supposed to or that's just naturally, like, you can't help it? Natural. I mean, I, my parents are Caribbean, so I, I was that girl growing up to be a part of that side of the Jamaican vibe, but I wanted to go down to, like, the Poke Beans, the Karen City, like, Liberty City, like, Opelika. Like, I wanted to get into that vibe just to see, like, how everybody grew up because I, I didn't grow up with a, a golden spoon, but I grew up, you know, Structured and I was like, I'm the third city girl. Like, I want to go down to Miami to see what that's about. Trick, where Trick at? Where Trina at? So that's how I had friends like that that grew up in those 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 areas in Miami. And I was like, shit, You're I want to. I want to. I, <laughs> I want to go down there just see. So I was always. I, I guess it rubbed off and hang with my homegirls. And then I had my little Latina friends and shit like that. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. So I just found so it's a natural. Jamaican too, nigga. I'm, yeah, we in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are yeah, yeah, natural vibes. You you got everybody. to be Jamaican too. You ain't clear. Everybody got yeah, to be Jamaican. Everybody got to be Jamaican. Like for real. Like I that shit blew my mind, bro. Like the night before yeah. my mama funeral. Chica, my you told, told us. Yeah. Yeah, my yeah. uncle told me. Yeah, you know your father was from the islands. I'm like, nigga, what hood is that in DC? They must have tore the islands down. <laughs> 
I'm familiar with all the hoods in the city. I never heard of the islands before. They were like, nah, nigga, your father was from the islands. I'm like, which one? He's I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm thinking Jamaica. And he was just so confused and baffled that my mama never told me this shit. Mm. But I was like, she wow. never had to. Nigga been dead since I was a baby. Right, right. So she ain't never had to have that conversation. But then I did the ancestry and did the shit and it came back. It came back. A whole Jamaica, Maybe. my nigga. So I'm walking around with a Spanish name. I'm supposed to be goddamn Buju Bean. Yeah, you Beanie Bean. Buju Bean. Beanie Bean. Beanie Bean. Had to change my whole shit. Beanie Bean. Dexter Bean. You dig? Yeah, man. Ever since you and Flat find out y'all Jamaican, these niggas ain't been the same. Who? DC Jamaican? That nigga Jamaican. Oh, man. What's that? I don't know. Uh, yeah, they, they he took the ancestry Y'all went from them. not knowing to on the float at the parade. Yeah, that I'm nigga going. ain't took that flag right. off since he got them test results. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. I'm going. Up there. I'm going over there. I got there. to go to the. I'm yeah, all you got to go, Chico. The, the, it's so beautiful. I've been, been there before. Yeah. Okay, okay. But I didn't go. You know, I went to the resort. I, the resort. I want to go to where my people is from. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm going to the real Jamaica. You want to go to the St. Mary, the Kingston, the, Kingston. the Orchard, the yeah. Montego Bay. All that and get a real jerk chicken. Bullet, bullet, bullet. Niggas probably jerking all types of shit out there, nigga. Whoa. All <laughs> types of shit. <laughs> jerk everything. Yeah, the, the, yeah, that was, yeah. Jerk but, serious. Yeah, exactly, nigga. Nigga, man, I knew what you meant. I, I feel I knew you, but you pause. I'm, 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 I'm the censorship over here. I'm just trying to help you avoid further complications. Go ahead and just get all comfortable. Oh, yeah, no, this is the trap. Well. You do your thing. Out. Your feet already out. Yeah, I know. You, got, like you need corn. to take your them feet them, out, out. These them camp See counselor twos. If your feet hurt in sandals. Good camp counselors. Welcome <laughs> to camp. That be the type of shit your girl asks you to buy that make you mad as fuck. Man, these shits <laughs> probably cost a thousand dollars. Twenty eight hundred. I love nine. I love nine hundred. Nine hundred for these. Nine hundred for your feet to be the shoe. <laughs> That's true. <crazy. laughs> you paid nine hundred dollars for your foot to be the shoe. Your whole foot is this shoe. But hey, yeah. man, can't complain. That's what it is. So yeah, it was all the, the Miami vibe, just being around in the city like that. That's one of my favorite Marble. places. That's the, one of the places you can go and feel like you're in another country. Miami? I yeah. just came back this morning. For real? Mm. For real? I gotta go down there. I, I like, like to go down there and stick my feet in that ocean. Yeah. yeah. Like a seawater, rub it off. Miami dope at every price point. The hood shit is fun. Yeah. The rich shit is fun. Yeah. The in-between shit is fun. I like tell you, you what have. That goddamn airport. Nigga, but let me tell you, you get in that airport and your gate is at D whatever <laughs> and you come in at A and nigga you got to run through that airport. I'm like, I know why you Miami niggas is in shape and run fast. You got to get through this I airport. I think Atlanta bad. Nah, Atlanta ain't nowhere. Atlanta got that train. Ain't no train in Miami. Yeah. Except train. for the one Uncle Luke and them running. Oh, <laughs> what? Hey. Shout out Uncle Luke, man. Shout out Uncle Luke. <laughs> for real. So I be in Miami too. <laughs> hey, that that shit, Miami, that was one of the coolest shits that happened to me in Miami. Trick Daddy was at the strip club, fucking around with Big Mac from a while now. Yeah. Big Mac, you know man. what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So I go to his shit, we go to the shit, man. I smoke blunt with Trick Daddy, but they was what? like, whoa. Oh. They was like, hey, this I heard is. that was what you're not So then to. this is what they said. They said, hold on. Big Mac was like, hold on, wait a minute. That ain't no bunk, is it? <laughs> and this nigga Trick Daddy was like, no, I don't smoke that around no hoes. And I was like, so you just smoke it by yourself? But shit was great. We was great. Roll the blunt. This nigga said, boy, you can roll your ass off. That shit was a ghetto diploma as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it is. So I went Black to Come on, man. That first <laughs> part of the story scared the shit out of me. Yeah, you know, I, I thought I was going to hit the bone. Yeah, yeah, I was like, no! I know better than that. I'm from Florida. Nah, it might have been too late, that. though. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. Out afterwards. no, no. I rolled it. I this rolled shit it. I ain't hit it. Hard. I didn't hit it with him. <laughs> but we know how Florida go. The choppers, the bone, you got to... You gotta roll your own. What that shit make you do, nigga? What if you thought you was finished? Oh, you know was like, oh, slip that in there. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck around and won the battle of the bitches on stage at the strip club? I could do better than that, bitch. <laughs> you just tripping. Nah. Nah. Yeah, See, that, that's why I don't, don't do weed. Oh, you like don't do what? Do smoke. Smoke? Mm-hmm. Have you ever smoked? I have. And what, that's what happened? Feel. That was when I was in college. Like, I feel like I wanted to, like, fight my sister. That night, bitch, I'm gonna fight you, whole. You she just, like, girl, just out of nowhere. You, 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 you say you need to go to sleep. Let her rub off. I went to bed, I was fine. The weed made her violent. What was you smoking? Mm-hmm. 
That could be scary though. What if you hit some weed and, and it, it affects it you like a way you never thought <laughs> it would? I don't know what it was. You were smoking K2. <laughs> I'm serious. I was around to hit the weed in the club and you just dance all motherfucking night. It's something else in there. That's man. not me. It yeah. can't be weed, That's not man. me, bro. But you know you dancing like, nigga, I'm dancing. <laughs> what the I'm fuck? I'm talking about to the point where your shirt sweat like you got nigga. the sweat stain on the front I of your shirt. I can't stop moving. No. That's that Molly. <laughs> yeah, that's what that, that is. That's, that's that's that Molly had you doing a routine you didn't know you knew. Oh, exactly. This nigga bust out the whole thriller routine. I didn't know I knew. That, it only took me one time to do that shit. I did that shit one time. I was good. I had an eye experience. And it was I was over with. What happened? You was in. You nah, nigga, we had a homecoming party at Winston Salem State, where I graduated from. We was at the homecoming party, and my homeboy, my man Fifty, salute the fifth. He was like, "Man, you gotta, you gotta fuck with this shit, man. Just take it. It's a party, man. It, you, you know what I mean? You good?" Mm-hmm. And I'm like, nah, nigga. I'm like, nah. Deacon. I'm like, nah, nigga. You can't bring the shit up. I'm like, nah, man, nah. You don't know Phil. I'm good. And he was. This was so. He said, "Nah, bro, look, we all on it." And I looked and everybody was having a ball, nigga. I'm like, niggas is just like, I'm like, all right, fuck it, give it to me. I'll take the shit. Hold up, nigga. How was it when they look for it? I'm talking about nigga like Zion in the Matrix, nigga. I'm like, these niggas. You are having a good time if you put both hands up, nigga. I'm talking about niggas was having a ball. You I'm put like, both hands up, niggas nigga? Niggas was balling. I'm talking about, all right, so I say, all right, give it to me. I take the shit. As soon as I take it, he like, all right, nigga, stay in my sight. Don't go where I can't see you. I'm like, why the fuck you ain't tell me this before I took the shit? So I stand on stage for a good 45 minutes. This nigga done left. I don't know where he at. I'm missing the whole party. I'm like, man, fuck this shit. I'm about to go party, man. I'm missing the homecoming party. Niggas is hollering at me off stage, bitches and shit. I'm like, all right, I'm going to the party. I go use the bathroom. I come out the bathroom, niggas stop me. Bing, take a picture. Bet. Boom, take the picture. Go, another picture. Take another picture. One girl said, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Please, please, before you go, could I take one more picture? I'm it like, cool, flash, no problem. Wasn't it? Nigga. Put her arm around me, take the picture, they show it to her. She was like, put the flash on. Nigga, they put that flash on. Whew, that shit kicked in. <laughs> Nigga, all I heard was blum dum 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 Nigga, I started walking, I'm like, oh, I'm the flyest nigga ever born, nigga. Everything I was saying was the smoothest shit yeah. ever. It was the coolest shit ever. I'm like, nigga, this is the most amazing shit ever. I had bitches thinking I was in love that I wouldn't fuck in a nightmare, but it was just... Right, me. right. I'm talking about the, <laughs> the wildest shit ever. Then the only bad part was my stomach hurt a little bit afterwards. And then we having a conversation, and then I start hearing all the horror stories about how it go when it go wrong for niggas. I'm like, oh, I'm good. I'm good. I had a good experience the first time. I, I, I don't never need to do it again. Hey, I'm Chico Bean. Are you tired of not knowing what to cook when you stress for time? Well, HelloFresh can make everything better for you and way more simple. HelloFresh offers 10 to 20 minute meals, low prep recipes, and quick breakfasts and lunches, perfect for your busy schedule. You get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Go to hellofresh.com slash 85south14 and use code 85south14 for 14 free meals, including free shipping. You ain't even gotta pay for it to get to your house. That's hellofresh.com slash 85south14. For example, the balsamic tomato and herb chicken over buttery garlic spaghetti. Doesn't that sound like something I would never make? It is something I would never make, but with HelloFresh, they gave me all the ingredients that I needed, real easy instructions to follow, and voila, I'm eating balsamic tomato and herb chicken over buttery garlic spaghetti, all right? I'm impressing all my women with this. HelloFresh did it for me, so make sure you go to HelloFresh and get you some good meals. Chico Bean told you something. See, that's why I don't do it. Mm-hmm. And I think for me, when I was in, I went to St. Aug, you already know what HCU all day. You went where? St. Aug. St. Augustine? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, when I did it, like, I, I didn't have that experience again. It was just like, I was just, we were just smoking in school and then, like, drinking all mad, dog. You that's what, that's, that's what, what made, made you want to fight? fight? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> mad dog. No. You drank mad dog and blame it on no, the weed. No, 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 no. Let me tell you. I think when I first did the weed, it was when I was, I don't know, I was coming home from college, but when I was smoking, I was in college, I was fine. That wore off. I was like, maybe that's a little sad. First man, time man, that mad, guy dog. Guy mad dog. Mad dog. We did mad dog. 12 slices weed. of cheese on the foot long sound. <laughs> you said you went to West? I was went to Subway. What time was it? Was nigga, it like Jesse Smollett nigga, time at night or was it? No, <laughs> this is so afternoon. Yeah, I ordered 12 slices of cheese on one sandwich. Give me some more. 
<laughs> you said 12? 12. You asked for 12, or right, you just counted? Right, because the bitch tried me. Like you couldn't afford the cheese? Right. That cheese gonna cost extra. I said extra. Well, put it on there. Okay. Don't tell no, me. No, but see, she was trying to include the, the cheese that came on the sandwich. That's base. That, that's, Don't include that's that standard. in my extra. That's that's standard. Standard. I was supposed to get that. So I'm asking for extra. <laughs> no, when the, okay, all right. Now see, you put some more on there, but that ain't just extra. No. Extra is access, so yeah. give me extra. extra. Yeah. Did, how did you feel after you ate a sandwich with 15 slices of cheese on it? Probably ain't shit for three, four uh, yeah, But it was worth it though, wasn't mm-hmm. it? Improved my point. <laughs> I was young, my body could take it. Yeah, exactly. All the way. You, <laughs> you remember the first time you got high? Huh? Yeah. How, was it a good experience? That's how that nigga yeah, be lying, because they said we supposed to make you forget shit. I didn't think, uh, I didn't think I was high. We went, smoked, people high school, went to a little park, smoked my homeboy, started chasing ducks. <laughs> that shit was funny for a minute, and I was like, all right, I gotta go. I had my mama's car. I drove the best I ever fucking drove. Felt like I was on the video game. Like, I was hitting turns. Perfect. No brakes and hugging the road on that bitch. Like I was pumping brakes. Like I was really driving that bitch expertly. Like the nigga that was teaching you was in the car with you. Yes, it like like a commercial. Yeah. BMW. Nick, yes, exactly. It, this forerunner commercial is lit. But you ever thought about this though? You ever thought about the fact that you might have thought you was driving dope, but everybody else on the road? Look at like, this dickhead. Look at this stupid ass nigga. No. Man, man, nigga, don't go fast out the road, nigga. You <laughs> mean like buddy from Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah, exactly. No, no. See, <laughs> we let you know when you fuck it up because you get that test when the police get behind you. If you was fucking up, you was gonna get pulled over. Police get behind you and you high, boy, your driving is so motherfucking impervious, nigga. You can't, I'm following all the rules. This seat belt is clicked and nobody's even in the seat. Oh yeah, you all the way Nigga, we, we, hey, you ain't gonna say you, something was off. You saw, like when you smoke weed, cause you gotta pick what you gonna do. You know what I'm saying? You already breaking the law, riding around when we used to be. So, yeah, I knew I could, I knew I could function with the with the weed, but I didn't get high then. I just thought I was driving good. And okay. then later on, I smoked again, and I was like, oh, I was high. I just didn't know what I I didn't know how didn't to know deal feeling. with it. Okay. And then, yeah. That's the mm-hmm. right there. Yeah. I don't do it. Yeah. It ain't for everybody. It ain't for, it ain't for a lot of people. I don't understand the motherfuckers who be high and drunk at the same time. I was like, what? What? The I think that's just offsetting, to be honest. Like, I think one is just one one working, and the other one is just for your mind. Like, cause you, I don't think you can be. I both. think it'll balance out. Like, you can still be drunk, but then if you get high enough, like, you won't be like obnoxious drunk. Like, I feel like if you could be drunk and high at the same time, like the high take the edge off the drunk. Yeah. But you can still enjoy the drunk part. So you so you would say that the, the liquor would need to come before the weed? No, I, I feel like you should get drunk and then get high. Yeah, I that's feel That's what I mean, yeah, the liquor before the yeah. weed. See, that's you, how I'm high. I ain't hit that point. Yeah, you hit. <laughs> but if you smoke and then drink, that's a... You fuck, that's counterproductive. No, if you do it, you'll be good. Now, if you get drunk and you a weed smoker, you get drunk, weed will save you. Weed after you've been drunk, we will bring you back to where you need to be. See? Some some kind of way. So you balance. be right on that shit. Okay. Like, because... Mm-hmm. But unless you just getting fucking drunk... And I don't understand them people that get drunk and shit, blackout drunk. Like, so drunk, you can't function. You fuck up everybody else eating. Yeah, young nigga drunk. We got to yeah. carry you. You threw up in your hat, put it back on. Like, man, <laughs> this nigga, this is a baby. Yeah, you if you being now. drunk is work for everybody else, I don't want to be around I'm talking about when, when a nigga head, the newborn. <laughs> this nigga, and then and then gonna say yeah. shit, try to make it seem like it ain't as bad. I spit up. No, nigga, you vomited. You a grown ass person. Ain't no fucking spit up. Spit up is for babies. I'm seeing what spit up is, yeah. nigga. I spit up. No, no you Earl. You Earl. You Earl. You Earl. You Earl. That's Earl. Over your that's side. not vomit. That's Earl. I, 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 I'm a, I spit up. No, nah, you Earl, nigga. You Earl. I remember, nigga. My line, bro. We was coming back from some some event we had, nigga. Drunk as a motherfucker. Chica, what you is? I'm an out. And uh, my nine brother, man, got the, we got pulled over by the police. And we sit in the car like, fuck, nigga, we right by the exit by the school. <laughs> this nigga in the backseat, all you hear. 
Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> As the police walking back up to the car, she shouted like the car. She said, whoa, looks like your buddy got sick in the back seat there. We like, yeah, we just trying to get him home. This nigga was earling like a motherfucker. That weed was so drunk, he had to let that shit sit overnight because ain't nobody want to clean that shit up. Oh, that car, mm-hmm. they had to get rid of that The motherfucker that threw up don't never clean it up. No, he had to not clean it up the next day. But not when they supposed to. No, 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 no. That shit can't get cleaned up You there. can't clean it. The drunk nigga that throw up can't clean it up there. Do you not That's go- the fucked up part. Yeah. That shit got to sit and get worse, and Ooh. then his ass got to come out there and- See, them the worst people. Me. Like about the motherfucker who get pissy drunk and don't nobody know where they belong, where they live, where they park. Who they came with? Oh, like, that's hey, the hey, word. I ain't never been like that. Who, who, uh, you ever, you, you know what? Like <laughs> you ain't never been like, like just. I'm talking about fuck up drunk. I ain't gonna lie, I have. Yeah. I threw up on the. I know. I had to think about it. I threw up on my homegirl cousin <laughs> shoulder. You threw up on your homegirl cousin. That bitch wasn't your friend. <laughs> Who is she? Who is she? I was sitting there and I was just like, all I heard was a, and it was all down. (laughs) It was like, oh my god. Dina, you got to go. You got to go, girl. You gonna throw up on TV. I said, oh my god. But let me tell you something. The and it was sticky. Oh, <laughs> she had spaghetti strap. Yeah, show oh. that shit tucked her skin. Oh. One thing. <laughs> that shit went down her shirt. Yeah. Oh. But one thing about it, I could say when you are drunk like that, you get the best sleep. Oh my no, God. Yeah. I don't need sleep nah, like that. Neither, I neither. go to sleep. You might get the best sleep. Hold up, hold, hold up, bro. Up. That Ooh, ginger bro, ale. What she said when you threw up on her, man? These girls, you don't like, even know. She, yeah, she like, she like, Vina, get out. You just threw up on the TV. Her shoulder. <laughs> I was like, bitch, at this point, I'm like, my no, mama you, calling me. You telling me with the girl that you knew was saying, what the fuck was TT saying? But let me say, TT was drunk too, so she was just like, oh. Hell no. And TT was like, bro, that's what you don't want. The devil. This was literally. Like, oh my her. god, I done seen that happen a couple times. Nigga get the early, then the nigga can't take it, and he get the early. Oh <laughs> my god, the, the, the reflex nigga, like, I can't take it. Oh, it's gonna make me throw up. Yeah. You good if you don't, if you, if, if you can hold it off until you smell it. Yeah, that's Like, the, the smell will catch you, bro. Yeah, like, you be like, I'm good. <laughs> and then your mouth get juicy, then yeah. you gotta keep spitting. And you keep spitting, and the moment you stop spitting, you say, I don't need to spit no more. Yeah, that it's coming. Oh. And that, that you right, that smell is just, because you know yes. a nigga that just ate Bojangles or something, and that's grease and stomach juice fresh. Mm. Yeah. And nigga don't have no control <laughs> over it. It be everywhere. Nigga be... Mm. And this motherfucker look up at you while they do it. Yeah. Ah, and this shit coming out <laughs> everywhere. I ah. spit up. <laughs> no, you threw up, man. Man, listen. Get that shit off your neck. See, that's the thing. I can't be around that shit, man. I will laugh hysterically. I'm no help. If I see a nigga early, especially if I know you, bro, I'm not helping you. I'm going to wait till you finish because I'm going to be crying laughing. Because oh, you see what it do to the human body, bro. You see a nigga. Oh, oh. <laughs> You can't really do me doing it. <laughs> 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 Y'all gonna be like, bro, this nigga died, bro. He died. I can't take it, my nigga. Bro, it be funny it. as hell when women get drunk and throw up. The shit they say when they friends. <laughs> Am I still free? <laughs> no. He's the drunk bitch at the party. Am I pretty? Oh, man. We all the same. Are you mad at me? That's the one. Are you mad? <laughs> what the fuck you mad? You're mad at me, aren't you? <laughs> mad. Everybody's mad at me. Yeah, Nobody gives definitely a fuck. mad at me. My whole <laughs> back window is covered with Earl. You can't even see out the back window. You got to ride it. It be them times you real far away from where you going. Nigga, you got to ride 10, 15 miles with the Earl in the car. Mm-hmm. And you do I'm not have a spacious vehicle. You are in one of them, what's, what's them, them Kia Fiat? Oh, yeah, yeah. Nigga, them, you in one of them. Oh my goodness. Some of them niggas oh. get so drunk, they just, they don't stop. Somebody gotta knock them out. Like every time, this nigga gonna get punched. No, that's the people that don't throw up. Yeah. You got the people that don't throw up, so they just keep getting drunker and drunker. Yeah. And they just talk so much shit and, and get aggressive. Like, dog, they gonna kill you. 
These people are about to kill you. I don't you. give a fuck. <laughs> fuck them niggas, nigga. It's us, nigga. <laughs> it's us, nigga. I wish the motherfucker would. Right, bro, nigga. stop hollering in that man's man, house. Fuck man. this nigga house, bro. <laughs> Get this nigga shit, bro. Oh, I kick this nigga, nigga shit, bro. I kick this nigga shit, bro. Fuck this nigga, bro, for real. Bro, cool out. Ah, uh, man, fuck, Stop. touch me, nigga. Cool out, bro. Don't touch me, nigga. Cool out, man. Don't kick that man's on, table, man. man. Fuck this table, bro, Come nigga. On. What you think I ain't got my bitch? I got my wallet, nigga. I got bro, money, cool man. Out, man. Cool fuck, out, bro. fuck off me, nigga. I got motherfucking money, nigga. Fuck that shit, nigga. Give a fuck, nigga. Cool out, bro. What's your name? Hey, man, that's that man white. That's that man white, man. man white, man. Man, I bet. Hey, 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 hey. Dude, why she trying to give me hey. some? Hey, hey, bro. Hey, cool out, man. Hey, man, stop you touching me, bro. Cool you got one more time to touch me, I'll smack the shit out you, too, bro. Hey, man. Bro, get your hands off of me. Man, you took a shower, didn't you? I took a shower. And they gonna kill you, bro. And hey, that's how they really be too. That shit. Bro, them the worst people, like, man. They be just like that. Ain't no way. I, that's why I can't. Once I stop drinking, I can't be around. I can't do it, bro. Drunk people just. Hold up. All right. You ever had a drunk bitch try to holler at you? <laughs> Real aggressive. The most aggressive drunk bitch ever. Now I'm talking about. Were you looking for me? Uh, that's what the bitch said outside the bathroom. I said. No. <laughs> I didn't even know. What are you talking about? How are you found me? Oh, this bitch is confident. Like, yeah. what they say? Bruh, them drunk women be aggressive. What? They be bringing up shit that you didn't even know that they knew about. Like, your old bitch. I saw you with the little fat bitch with the orange on. <laughs> I guess this is what you like. You don't like real bitches, do you? <laughs> huh? You like, sweetheart, sweetheart, calm down, no, 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 baby. No, nah, fuck, calm down. <laughs> I gave you my number four years ago, <laughs> and you didn't fucking use it. Oh, no. But now, nah, I, I don't even remember that I got a new nah, phone. No, you just, what, you didn't phone? like me, what? What happened? I got a new phone, baby, you can just calm down. You don't, people. give me your phone. Give me your phone. <laughs> I don't want to give you give my nah, phone. Nah, give me your fucking phone. <laughs> Give me a fucking phone. Fucking phone. <laughs> Open this shit. <laughs> Fuck it. You don't need it any fucking way. <laughs> fucking black motherfucker. <laughs> what the just fuck like is wrong with this girl? Nah, I got be. one better for you. With somebody that drunk that you love and you got to deal with them, nigga. When you dealing with a drunk motherfucker that you can't tell off, mm. that's the worst shit Amen. in the world, my nigga. I'm right. talking about motherfuckers show up and just be like, yeah, this my shit. It's like, no, it's not. It's mine. Like, please, stop. You're going to get us locked the fuck up. I don't give a fuck. You got money, don't you, nigga? <laughs> Bail me out, bitch. She be like, you know what? I hate this bitch. I I hate see, <laughs> that's uh -uh. the worst thing about this shit. I'm telling you, man. I don't that, have I, them. You but the crazy no part is that shit is legal, man. I Alcohol know, is le we. I ain't never seen we do nothing close to what I'd have seen liquor do to people. And think about this: motherfuckers drink more liquor than they'll drink anything else. You won't drink forty ounces of water. <laughs> motherfuckers used to drink forties to the face too. Forty ounces? What? Forty ounces of Kool Aid will kill you. O E, nigga. Mm. O, o e. English. Forty ounces of O E. That's malt you liquor. No that means it got a little uh. bit of cocaine in it. Malt. Hey, but that, that shit bad, because anytime you drink malt liquor, you're gonna smell drunk. But see, that's, that make you respect the people who really drink, though, because now that I think about it, nigga, my mama used to drink two 11s. Oh, she, nigga. Was, she was tight. I mean, for real. Mm. And wouldn't be a uh, nigga and uh, take a, a tall can. That's the call for breaking it in right And be straight. I'd be like, Ma, you good? Nigga, yeah. Mm. Watching General Hospital. I'm like, I don't want well, you on, though. <laughs> Nigga, I'm telling you, them people that can drink for real, like, once you get to a point where you can just down something, and, like, I see people who can drink a whole, damn near a whole thing of Hennessy and no, all that, like, bro, your insides can't be the same color as mm -hmm. mine. You're not supposed to do that. Like, at some point, and I drink a lot when I'm in the drinking space, but... What's a lot, though? You shouldn't be going to no bottle in a day or two. A bottle of what, what you mean? It's a, a lot of different bottles, man. You got tanks and half. A fifth. A fool. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. A fifth of what, though? 
It's, 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 What's your favorite drink? The the your my your favorite shit? drink. I'm either either I'm fucking with a whiskey. Oh, or you a, you a cognac. You so drink like an old black man. Yeah, okay. All right, to be you know a real. Bro, this is giving me flashbacks, bro. <laughs> he just fucked yeah. with this girl. She used to get drunk as fuck and call me. I'd be like, I know you fucked up. And she'd be like, ah, I need you to stay on the phone. I was like, I need you to not be driving. What the fuck? Now you responsible. What? Yeah, now yeah. you responsible. You just involved me. Now I got to stay on the phone because I feel like if I hang Damn, out and I get that call that you didn't make it. Yeah. How this turn into the drunk episode? Because she don't smoke. Yeah. yeah. She don't drink either. I did a little bit. Where New Face at with that goddamn corn maid? Yeah, New Face. Yeah. Little Face came in with some moonshine. Yeah, New Face and bought some shit from Ray's Boom Boom Room. Man. <laughs> that nigga done been for real, too. Pretty V, tell us how you selling all these products, man. Because you see, we got some products and shit. I see. Give us I, some, I give us some product too. game and shit. How you, how you jump off all these major deals and things like that? Well, with the City Trends deal came, like, literally, I, um... I DM'd them. They DM'd said, me and made me wear them ugly ass outfits. <laughs> it's not ugly. You gotta know how to put it together. The ones they wanted me to wear was fucked up. You gotta know how to put it together. Look the best that I can make them look. You Chico, you was check. dope. You yeah, were conceited. I made, listen, it wasn't Man, easy. we was trying like a motherfucker. It wasn't easy. You know, you know how sorry. it was? See, I see, I see. To go through all them practices. Keep it 100 shirts and shit. All the goddamn South Pole jogging. put it together the best. Really, it came down to your style and being able to style yourself. Yeah, I guess a lot of dope pieces that you could put together. But they did what they wanted me to do. What did they give you, bro? You had to go. He said, that's where he made the mistake. I knew not to let them sit me shit. Bro, I felt so bad, I didn't even ask them for no money. I was just like, you know what? What up, man? Don't send me that. But anywho, we DM'd. (laughs) We DM'd, and I was like, I want to collab, you know? City Trends is definitely the culture. It's all around. 580 stores. So I'm like, shit, I wanna just, because I've always said when I was a little girl, I wanna be a face of a, a, of brand, a brand that right. is known, that you know, people get. And you know, a lot of, you know, black folks get city trends. The lines be out of control. C-I-T-I. So I'm like, C-I-T-I. City, city trends, trends is fashion, fashion for less. less. We fuck with them, so, I just couldn't do it. So um, I tried, I was did. ugly. What did they give you? So I'm saying the outfit that I had to put on, what did they give you? <laughs> It was, I'll tell you, it was. <laughs> I seen it. I know why he couldn't do it, man. It was like a sweatsuit. And it and was then, rough. Then, then that shit pants, had like, remember like it was print, the two pants. chains had on his first album cover? Like them chains? Yeah, yeah, like it was yeah. like that print on one arm and the other print was like the snowman. Right. I had the, <laughs> like, had the carpenter yeah. pants with the hammer holder. Yeah. They gave you old navy jeans? It was carpenter shorts. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But they got some, they got some moments in that you could throw together and figure out. That's true. Gotta... That's why I went. When I did with my thing with them, I actually went into the store yeah. and walked around and then I did a little video with showing people that, you know, I got a pair yeah. of Jordans because, you know, that's really what niggas spend their money on. Like, you save the money to get the shoes and then don't really yes. think about, you know. Fuck them shoes. Yes. I'm going the opposite direction this year. I'm about to jump off some of them Walmart runners with the two straps. <laughs> Fuck all these kicks and shit. This ain't shit. Don't get me some of them two strap bitches. Yeah, yeah, you gonna, you City gonna Trends has it as well because I go to City Trends, we got Adidas in there. We got a little bit of heels for the ladies. Like I said, we got Oh, it's dope for the ladies. Yeah, we got some some merch even for guys as well. You just gotta dig down, see what you see. What the type of face I get. You know, you, know you gotta get up in there and see what it's about. But City Trends does have a, a, a great selection. And it depends on the store too, because you know, we go in there, they'll rack up on something like Miami selection. The boy section got track suits. Adidas, I got my track suit on y'all section, extra small. So they got some cute little moments in there. And I, like I said, it started off with a DM. I want to collab with y'all. Then we grew to have my own merchandising stores, you know. So That's we got crazy. a whole brand new selection of City Trends. It's going to be called the Pretty Pretty in the City. So we have, we're going to be having perfume. Thank you. Oh, man. Thank you. Pretty in the City. Yes. Yeah. With the Y or the I? City Trends. You gonna spell it with the Y? Yeah. But the mm-hmm. city's still gonna be the I? Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, um, Pretty in the City, where I have my own area. So when you go into City Trends, you won't just have to find and search. You'll automatically see me and my and my boy when you walk in. And Please tell me you got some robes. That's the next thing. This is the thing. When I said to told City Trends, we had a meeting. The robes that I like, that I already sell on my personal page, my business page, the VXL collection, it's an expensive robe. High end. You, you're high end. 
And I want that for the ladies. So City Trans, we have to still like do some work on that, some research just to see how we could get those in stores and to match the price. Oh, that's going to yeah. go. Yeah. When you put but, them in there, yeah. ooh. So in the meantime, between time, we'll get some robes, but it won't be the robes that I sell, but it will still be something for the kids, nah, but you, the hey, bonnets. Yeah. You get a robe. I'm getting me a robe. I'm going to be yeah. like Ghostface Killer and a pretty V robe, nigga. Yes, so we Down to the Pretty end. V robe to the floor. <laughs> Diamonds on my neck and they don't even know. <laughs> Yeah, so one we, woman arm. <laughs> ghost is incredible. So yeah, we did, and actually it's so funny you said ghost face. We just had, had a conversation with him the other day. Yeah, we talking about yeah, talking yeah. about robes. We yeah. were just talking about robes. Me and we were talking about how I started doing the robes and then I was like, he's been doing the robes, so it was dope. But yeah, it's gonna be dope. September is when we're trying to get the pretty in the city going. And y'all should see perfume. We're gonna get a perfume line, headphones, we already got the AirPods, we got the um the cleansing brushes, we have lashes. I'm designing my own sneakers, so it's gonna be really, really dope. We're just which we're yeah. working. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. 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 I can see a pretty V sneaker. Yeah. The what they do's too. The what they do too's. Yeah, That's you already so know. That's so dope. The Girl, what they do. What they do. Yeah, you already know. What you got know. on? The what they do. See, That's dope. but the thing is, we seen. You know, if it's dope to hear this, because you know we were around when you first came in, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And to see the progression of people like you and B. Simone yeah. and Jess and everybody. Yeah, all it's like, what the fuck did we ask them? We seen them do it. Yeah, yeah you, you know, know what I mean? Saying? We we was there seeing <laughs> yeah. y'all progress and, 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 and just matriculate through all of the different stages. Nigga, that you're matriculate? Getting. Yeah, I told you, man. Bro, grown black man words. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong black man words. I've been listening. This now. nigga is a legend. I'm just, you know what I mean? Bitch, I'm like, trying to matriculate. All the way. But, yeah. you know, it's just dope to see you at, at the stage that you at because you know it's, it's just getting started. You're just yeah. getting to that point Thank where you're you just yeah, starting yeah. to get We're your feet wet. Super you. proud yes, of you, man. Yes. You know what Thank I mean? You. Super proud of you. Like, because, you know, we all came in, you know, we came in on the wild and outside. Yeah. And, you know, just the transition that we've all made. Like, we all, that's the one thing that I say about that show is that. It's good that it ain't like a, a 360 deal to where yeah. everything that you do got to be reincorporated into that. So once yeah. you finish shooting, you can go do whatever you want to do. Yeah. So it's just beautiful to see that you are one of the ones that took that opportunity and Thank ran you. with it. You yeah. know what I mean? We just, you know, we, I, I always say to people who's around me, like, we just hustling at my, my own pace. Like, I'm not trying to be like, Let, let's do this. Let's jump into this. Like, I want to make sure that this is the right decision, it's the right business plan, I'm getting the right gigs, you know, because when you get out there so much, you start you start seeing yourself so much, it's like, girl, we didn't see you here, did it, and it's just be all bunched over. That's why all I don't do a lot of promos. Yeah, I don't do a lot of promos on my page. I feel like you that, that just loses like so much. Like, what's the talent? You know, you could probably talk about an edge control or talk about this, talk about that. But what are you really trying to do? Right. So that's why I only do select things for different companies. And my endorsements are Bel Air, it's City Trends, yeah. it's the Mayo products. Those are only three big things I have going on as far as endorsement deals goes because I didn't want to do too much of doing the fashion overs, doing this, doing what everybody else do. I just like, I'm going to just stay here. And then when, you know, those stuff, two, three years leave and we like, all right, let's move on to something else. Then we can talk about the gap and these coaches and Michael Kors, like, cause I'm that girl. I don't care what it is, cause I make the I make the clothes. The clothes I like don't make the, me. That's yeah. Smart. You, you, just, you got edge control. Well, with my yell. So um, I just we're, we just partnered up with that company. Man, and you we just, just don't think. slip that in. You got to let that is black history right there. No, we'll hey, see. man, black history. <laughs> so, <laughs> pretty V got edge control. No. So look, the edge control is my yell. So my yell is in stores in Target. I'm just one of the ambassadors for the company. So Dang. that's her edge control. But we did do a beauty campaign that was in Times Square. Um, it's in Atlanta. If you go on 85, going to the door, door to the airport, you'll see us. We're still, we're still up. So, yeah. Um, in Bel Air, I don't know if y'all got your bottles, but I know what we asked for addresses from y'all. Right. Yeah, I sent y'all some some pink Lux Rose. We got the okay. blue bottle, everything like that. Yeah, so. with the loom. No, we sent big bottles. The, it came with a loom, didn't it? Yeah, but okay, we sent that one because there's more that came out. So yeah, we're, send us some more. Send us a big one. Hell yeah. yeah, we, we oh, send yeah. big bottles out. That's so we have yeah. the Bel Air moment as well. So I start back working with them um, July. So that's like in a day yeah. or two. Working with the boss. Now, this is one more thing about yeah. you that people may not know. You're one of the most spiritual people that I know. <laughs> Do you mind like opening up and giving some insight on that? Because 
I know there's been plenty of moments where we're like, man, we got to pray. Go get pretty feet right quick. Right. And then they run to get you and you come back in the prayer already ready, like on some beautiful. I'll be mad when Nick be, yeah, be praying. Like, let Jinx. me go up in there and pray because he yeah. be praying. Like, it's either, it was either you or Nick. Yeah. I pray, like, usually. Nick. Right. Yeah. But um, my mom, she's a pastor. Um, you know, uh, I just grew up just knowing like who God is and who Jesus is, just the, the way of learning the way of learning the Bible on down. I mean, I didn't read the Bible from front to back, but I know some things in it. And I think as we grow into this industry, you have a lot of people that will pull at you to do it. This is how I do it. Or this is how I do it. Well, this is what it is. And I've always told myself, I have to stand firm on what I know when I grew up from young. I don't want nobody taking control of my mind. However you go by your life feelings or however you go by your life, like knowing this makes me feel good. I'm gonna try this. I gotta know about because I see how God worked miraculously in my life. So I gotta go with what I've learned from young, from my mom teaching me, from my grandparents teaching me. So yeah, I am a spiritual person and I believe in God, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I just, you know, I, I walk by that. Some days, you know, I overthink a lot. Chico no, I be, uh, you know, trying to figure everything out. I was upset one season with Emmanuel because it just brought back to just different things that I've, you know, encountered from bullying and all those things. So I don't like when I'm having, you know, altercations with people or just anybody. So um, I overthink some situations, but I just know too, like, look, God here, we gonna work it out. We that's fine. Right. That's that's my out. specialty. I know how to talk a motherfucker off yes, the ledge. Yeah, he has. Cause I didn't, I didn't been to the ledge a whole bunch of times. And yeah. Jumped and caught myself like, oh shit, I'm yeah. not supposed to do that. So I know, but being as though you're so spiritual, like. I always say that people don't know how to recognize their blessings. They yeah. overlook a lot of the blessings that mm, they get yep. every day. So what would be your advice to people being as though you have a connection to be able to recognize the things that God is doing in their life on a day-to-day -day basis that they might not recognize? You know, when I had COVID back in November, you know, I told myself I just moved into my house and I said, God, I don't have no furniture. I know it's going to be a whole bunch of money. I know I want my house to be right. I just closed in September. I really have to figure this out. It's just me alone. I ain't got no dude. I ain't got no kids. With a little peanut running around. That's it. So I was trying to figure it out. I got an email the next day. This girl reached out and said, hey, I have a furniture company, and you could choose whatever you want on my website to furnish your home. Because I just seen you just posted that you bought one. So I sat back sometimes. I'm like, you know what? Not to say that I was like, God, what have you done in my life? What have you done? But sometimes you don't see them, so it's by faith that you walk. You know, you gotta just believe what you say. Like, if I wanna do this, if I wanna have this 85 South show win an Emmy or whatever you guys wanna do, you guys don't know the guy's gonna say, well, here, Chico, here, Carlos, here, DC, here, Clayton, here's your Emmy. You have to feel it. Faith without works is dead. So, for me, how I, how I look at my blessings, I just know, like, look, like, God, you have took me out of, from sleeping on the side of my sister's bed, sleeping in my car, I worked for the baby, I only got paid $300 under the table for being his assistant back in Charlotte. I did this, I did that, now I own my own house. Now I'm able to leave, take Vahana to Ben's outside. Now I'm able to help my mom with her rent and all those things that I see that I can be able to do is by the grace of God. And I know sometimes we overthink things because we feel like we can't see him, he's not working. He is working, you just gotta believe mm -hmm. that he's working. You gotta trust the process. Yeah. Exactly yeah. why I asked that. You yeah. see, you see that, gospel song? that turned into a whole devotion, yeah. right? Yeah. In just a matter of moments. Yeah. Oh, and it's, that's, it's, it's okay to pause, but never give up. Exactly. So sometimes you yeah. gotta be still. Man, sometimes I heard I heard a man say something so cold the other day. I just had I was just ear hustling some game. That man said, "Time without purpose is prison." Mm. Mm. That's some cold shit right there. I remember when there. I couldn't sleep during COVID. I was just in my closet. I slept in my closet. The lights were off. Charlemagne called me. He was like, he was like, I said, Charlemagne, it's COVID. I da 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 da. My products in stores. So everything's gonna get shut down. Da da da. And what Clinton says, he says, be still. And I had, and I, the three words came to me and says, pray, write, and create. And I've been living that since when COVID first started and when That's the beautiful. tour was over with. That's beautiful. So, and this, man, you listen, I understand it all the way. Like, yeah. cause the transition I'm going through now is, is so yeah. different. But one thing I, people been asking me the most, like, what have you learned the most since, you know, you lost your mama? And it's just, for me, like I realize now that that book of my life with her in it got the end on it. So I mm -hmm. can't add no more chapters. So to anybody who still has that opportunity to have that relationship with that person, no matter how fucked up it may be, no matter how rough the patches may be, trust me, it, 
fix it and add chapters. Cause when it's over, it's over, it's over bro. You'll yeah. never see them again. You'll never hear their voice again in the physical. Mm. So always appreciate the fact that you can add chapters. But the good part about it for me has been, now I get to read my book in its totality. So you don't never really got to go back to the beginning while you adding chapters, cause you still build it. But when it's, when it's got that the end on it, you get to read it from the top and go all the way through and get to recognize like, oh, I done been built different my entire life. Yep. I done been, you know, yep. coursed through my life to just be this person that can handle all of these things. Mm -hmm. And those are the moments that make you who you are in the times of roughness or whatever it is you may be going through. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just always appreciate the fact that each day is a blessing. Each day yeah. you wake up is a blessing, man, because yeah. I done been through so much death in my life. But this one really made me realize like, oh shit, bro. Everybody gets out of here one day. I always said that, but this one make you realize when you when the she person that real. give you light yeah. mm -hmm. is gone, you like, oh shit, like nigga, yeah. this is this is coming to an yeah. end. You know what I mean? And it's like the reverse of it is like with you when you have a son and you see now that you're responsible yeah. for somebody. Yeah. Like me and my daughter was already close, but now we like all the way locked in because the thing that I told her at my mother's service was like, hey baby, I know this is tough, but one day, if the circle of life go to where it's supposed to go, you're gonna have to do this for me. Right. So I need you to understand that all of this is encompassed in what you gotta be able to internalize even right now at 12 years old. Mm. Yeah. You gotta figure it out, cause you're gonna have to do this for me one day. And that's just the way it goes. So it's like, it's, that's just that crazy part about life. Cause it's like, on one end, I'm like, damn, my mama. But then on the other end, I'm looking at this child who is 12. So she right. got her whole life ahead of her. So mm -hmm. it's like, I have to be strong enough to be able to deal with this and this. And when you got those type of responsibilities, the best thing you can do is keep your peace of mind intact. Whatever yeah. that may be, whether it be religion or yep. nigga yeah. hitting a blunt or just being by yourself telling everybody get the fuck away because me and Los had conversations prior to me losing my mom just about because we always chop up game about life and a lot of the things, and I ain't never even, I didn't even tell you this, but a lot of the things that we talked about years ago just start ringing back to me like them emotions that you go through and you're like, man, look, sometimes I feel like this. This is just the way I be feeling and this is why. And I understood it because you my partner, you my brother, but now that I'm here, it's like, oh, this why this nigga said that and this why he <laughs> was this way. And it's like, yeah. you'll never know until you go through it. But if you can avoid it, man, try to be at peace with everybody that you got to be at peace with. Yeah. Everybody else, fuck forever. Fuck them up, that nigga. Fuck you forever. And it's, and it's but literally, your people, be at peace if you can. And it's literally, the mind is the battlefield too. So that's where it plays at. You know, when you at peace, where you try to be at peace with something, then you go back to it's like a double-minded situation. One day you good, the next minute you not. One day you good. And I remember when- Then you feel guilty about the day you felt good. Mm. Ain't that shit crazy? It's crazy, bro. And it's yeah. like, I tell people all the time, the most consistent thing that's going to happen to you in your life is your brain talking inside your brain. As mm -hmm. we sitting here now, our brains is talking inside oh, our yeah. everybody. Mm -hmm. So you got to learn how to navigate and that shit, bro. you got to know how to yeah. talk to you. Because you be mom. talking to yourself crazy. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> you be talking to yourself and crazy. That's what, and I was like, nigga, do you know I would fuck me up? <laughs> Nigga, if you hop out my brain right quick and I'll beat the shit out you, boy. Who was you talking to? But that's her. necessary, though. So yeah. You gotta do it that. Is. It's yeah. necessary. You gotta get that thought out your mind, like them thoughts where you be, you gotta tell yourself that. Like, no, nigga, I'll fuck me up right now, boy. You bitch See, ass that's what niggas been telling you for years. You better check yourself before, <laughs> before you wreck yourself. yourself. Come on. And that's what Lil Duval told me. He said, You ain't gotta smoke no weed, you gonna take no drugs to go crazy. You don't. It starts with that mind. You gotta make sure, like you said, navigating that mind and not having so much. You look at those creators like Robin Williams and those people who suicide, whatever the hell he was going on internally and inside. But you ain't gotta do smoke no blunt or whatever, do all that. It really, that mind would take you to so many places. Yeah. That's what I wanted to ask you, Clayton, like as, as a new father with a new baby, what's the, if you could say one thing that you didn't learn, that you thought you knew before, but you really know now, what would that be? It's just that, um, Dog, they ain't even, like, this man was breathing liquid a few weeks ago. Like, he was legitimately went from a tadpole to a whole fucking human being, and he's out here, and you upset that he crying? 
Like, I had to check myself, like, when are you gonna stop? And I was like, man, you would cry too if you ain't never shit before. And then all of a sudden, you shitting on yourself. <laughs> what is this? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. every day, like, I'm like, I get it, buddy. I got you. Like, and all you can do is be there for him in all those moments of he don't know what the fuck's going on. And that's how you build that. This is why this is my son. Like, cause he'd be looking at me with relief, like, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Glad you figured that out, because I don't know why it keeps happening. I'm like, look, right. man. Nick can't even hold his look, head man. up. Yeah, man. yeah. Come on, pop, pray on my shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. So you just see, like, I got you. And then he start getting it. He's like, OK. He's like, oh, he coming to get me? I know he going to fix whatever the problem is. And yeah, you, you just, can feel that too. Yeah, it's crazy. That shit yeah. is, is crazy, man. It's crazy because you can feel that connection. Like you can feel, and it, and it never stop, bro. Like oh, it, man. You it never stop. I'm looking it for you. It never stop. Like Losa this, tell you, bro. At my mama's service, like it was a moment when they finally closed the cash, and me and my mm. daughter was standing there, and we both was just crying. But then we just started laughing, looking at each other, like because it's like we still here, we in pocket, right. and it's like that mm. piece of peace of mind that we both had like we got each other yeah. and that shit never stopped bro it, yeah. from the, the moments that you building now as they get older you see like oh okay like this is what this is that's the thing that make me not understand how a nigga can't just get over whatever you going through with the woman if you can i know sometimes it's you know bitches just but if you can get past that shit yeah you know you know sometimes it's, it's just, just it's just you just i understand because I say all the time now I realize like you don't understand what a man go through until you become one. Like it, you know what I mean? I you, our mamas are our mamas, but we never had to go with our you don't know how your mama was in a relationship or yeah. how she acted as a, a mate. So it's like you don't understand until you get into that position that how a nigga could be like, you know what? You'll be alright, little man. You got my jeans in you, I'm out this bitch. I can't take it no more. You know what I'm saying? But if you can if you can get past that then you build that connection with somebody that's gonna ride with you forever, man. Yeah. And you get that's something you can't beat through whatever. You can't beat that shit. Right. You wanna have kids pretty big? Just one. I want one. Just one, why one? Just, uh, they gonna be mad as fuck. I know. You're gonna, 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 you gonna be you have just one. You better get that little baby somebody to play with. You gonna mm. come in the house, that motherfucker gonna be tripping. Let's go back out, mom. Let's go back <laughs> out, mom. <laughs> <laughs> be tripping. Yeah, because that is cute no as hell when they two, when they wake you up at six in the morning and they're doing that. Go ahead, kid, B. <laughs> Chica, why fuck? you hand them off? Because huh? you only got one. Well, see, that's, it's a little different for me. You know what I mean? It's, it's different. It's different. You got to, once you have a child as a man, you got to, for me, I always say, I'm not having no more kids until the one that I got life is secured times three. So that means, nigga, I can die, come back, Die again, come back again, and she'll never need me. Damn. That's 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 what it is. Like that's I'm not selfish on the on the on the, on the second to come back. Damn, no, I'm just saying. That she's she so straight. She she's so straight. She like, oh, you came back again, man. Appreciate you, nigga. Stay up out here, champ, man. I mean, that's how secure I want my baby to be. So if I, if it, she's like, oh, Pop, right. stay back again? Hey, man, appreciate you for what you did right. for me, my nigga. I'm good out here. You know what I mean? That, that's just the re, because you can't, man. It's, it's a lot of responsibility, not just being a parent, but it's a lot of responsibility having to maintain relationships. Being a father is easy. Yeah, being, being a, a baby daddy is, is what's hard. Yeah, the maintaining the mm. relationships is difficult, mm. man. You got being a baby, being somebody baby daddy <laughs> way harder than being somebody father, bro. I don't give a fuck what nobody <laughs> said. Nigga, I'm doing great in fatherhood. I got an A plus. I'm failing baby daddyhood. <laughs> Boy, hey, they about to kick me out this goddamn yeah, place. I, go. I don't next. show up. I right. don't know nothing. We had the I don't pay attention. Baby daddy. I go right. to sleep every time. I ain't took no tests. Right. I got a bunch of absences. Like, yeah, what? what is this, boy? Hey, if they gave me my final in baby daddyhood, I'm I'm had to repeat the course. Great father. Terrible baby. Terrible daddy. baby daddy. That, Terrible. That's a hell of an analogy. And you, you know, even speaking about something. That need to go on a t-shirt. You need to put that on the shirt, Lowe. I'm a great father, but I'm terrible, a hard, terrible baby, baby daddy. daddy. That go my printer right there. Yeah, all the way. That's the one. And speaking great of father, and speaking terrible of, baby daddy. And speaking of father, you know, how do you guys feel about that? And like I said, I always go back to those parts of being an entertainer, like we all are. But 
that Britney Spears situation with her father. You know, getting drugged. I don't I'm get not white hip. people. Business. Yeah, I'm not hip to that. You not yeah. so, so break, break, yeah, break it down, yeah, right? We don't. We don't. We don't. Do. Get you gotta understand. I don't we, know nothing we, about we, them white folks. We are on a. We are I ain't on, never seen nobody we, grown let their parents we, tell them what to do. We don't know nothing about none of that over there. Nothing way. about that. And that's, <laughs> and that's weird about white people saying this because white kids normally tell their parents Nigga, what to do. I don't understand how they end up in this situation. How your daddy gonna be your legal guardian, but you grown? Who the fuck said she needed somebody? So what happened? Because Her dad they, was a dad. Yeah, but, so they're basically saying the, this is drugging, drug term. So of course, you I mean you can't do anything. Can't is this control. alleged? No, this is true. No, it's true. What he was giving oh, it's, her? It's no, the they, family, they family then pretty much got them kidnapped Britney Spears, locked her in the basement, they gave, and gave, us, gave her a bunch of pills, and took control over all her money. Oh, she can't get on birth control. No, but she's on birth control. She's on a birth control. She can't get. She want to take it out. She want to take it out. She she want to take the birth control out of her, so but she can't. They don't want it. But that's what I'm saying. The fucked up part about my mind is like, nigga, how nice is the basement? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no, this ain't, it ain't nice. It ain't nice. It ain't nice. It ain't Britney, like, they been they've been doing Britney regularly. They got they got her like in the Pulp Fiction basement that nah, the Gimp was it in. It ain't like, like in the shit. mansion basement. It's, it's like, like regular mansion house. basement. Like regular house basement. A regular house basement. Oh, that's fucked up. And if you took Britney's all the money, you in a regular house and you in an unfinished, an unfinished a trap basement. house basement. Like your basement Concrete, look like back no there. No sheetrock. Oh, you know, I, don't, I, I don't know the conditions. I'm just saying I know for a fact it ain't nice enough for Britney Spears. It's got, what are y'all? But I seen the thing about this on her page, us. on her page. Thank you. It looked like she is in a house and she, just dancing with her boyfriend. She has a boyfriend and all that. See, she don't get to run the page, though. Stay on and let you How see. How she got that. a boyfriend and he ain't in on it? He, he was pre-screened. They do everything. She can't do nothing by herself. Mm -hmm. So they trying to make it look like she living a normal life. Like, she has a boyfriend. Well, like, she did, a boyfriend she did, y'all gave her. She did say she apologized for pretending to be okay because she's not. She lied. Damn, that's probably her. That's her right door. <laughs> Hey, but on some real Brittany, shit, if you can make it to the trap, we got you. Yeah. yeah. If you can make it to the trap. Still. No, on some real shit, I don't oh, get all involved yeah, in white know, people's she, business like that. Yeah. But she's whatever they doing to Britney Spears, that shit ain't right, man. What up, though? Look at this fat. My heart just goes this out to this nigga. This nigga ain't got fat and everything, bro. Looking like you bro. just walked here, nigga. This nigga ain't got fat. <laughs> he got that, got, I just walked here. This nigga ain't got fat and everything. Yeah, that's that baby, man. That baby do that to a nigga, man. <laughs> sympathy weight. Put, I ain't yeah, no sympathy that, weight. Nah, see, that baby put that, that, that weight on you, man. You know what I'm saying? You get the Chad, cheese Chad, why am you working out, bro? He just made this up, bro. I ain't getting no weight. Bro, he looking like Craig walking through this bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I know, man. He on edge. Cause it might be the shirt, man. You, <laughs> you might have to just stop washing the shirt and put it in cold water. I never thought like that it. nigga was going to turn like around it. and explain. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> the same week. <laughs> now, nah, what's up, G? Hey, good to see you, man. Hey, man, what's it's up, great man? to see you, my brother. Shout out to my nigga Chad, man. Yeah, he got Chad, one on yeah. the way, too. One on the way, man. Yeah, yeah. Be getting on him making announcements. I had to wait until it was on social media. Yeah. And then say something, man. Yeah, oh, man. Clayton got one. Chad got one on the way. Yeah. One thing about shit, we gotta get some more motherfuckers pregnant around here, man. I mean, shit, Cat got one. We gotta get somebody you know, to play with Chad and you know, Clayton them kids. Cat got one. Cat, remember, Cat. I'm gonna like take one the for new the new stage. He had the beginning stage with a grown one, so that's a whole number. We need to put that on the show, man. Like the get back. Now stop bringing Kat. up that shit, bro. Kat, every time you bring that up, <laughs> can't can shorts get shorter. Nah, he be, he be, he be like, nigga, <laughs> 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 like, stop. <laughs> Chico, man, bro, what is it, Chico? <laughs> bro, let that shit go, bro. <laughs> no, bro, you been gotta, whole quarantine, bro. You still bringing that up? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be there for that nigga, man. Like, okay, you, Chico, bro. you act like he a little boy, then he grown. <laughs> <laughs> the joke, <look. laughs> the joke. <laughs> Quit bringing up, bro. He thirty, man. He thirty. <laughs> he thirty. He thirty. He thirty. He thirty. I feel you, my bad uh, cat. You know I love you, nigga. Pretty me. It's all we you be know, on over here. We working and twerking. What would you look? At, what would you look for in a in, in, in a? Don't look at my a father and a mate and a mate to, mm. to, to procreate with. What would you, what would be some of the qualities that you would need in a man to be comfortable with 
letting him spread his seed in your mm. lawn. Why you say it like that? Because that's what it is. You see it. Put the nut in the nut. Put the nut in the The seed in the lawn. She go, man. Hey, man, that's that go more, with that that's beanie That's more plant. vulgar than the nut. <laughs> you see, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the crazy part. The way them old <laughs> niggas talk be way more nasty, and they ain't even using no nasty words. Would you allow me to spread my seed amongst your lawn? I'm trying to <laughs> penetrate into the fallopian. Yeah. <laughs> I would like some vagina tonight. <laughs> Might I look at your vulva? <laughs> this nigga gotta go to jail, nigga. That's how you get well, me too. Well, for one, you definitely gotta be like, you gotta, um, you already know, Carlos already called me out, or not even called me out, but speaking facts, you gotta know who God is me. Cause you're not gonna just go up in me under the soul ties is real, baby. All what the hell you going through? Do it have to be your jumping. God or just God? Um, you gotta believe in Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, that's more specific. Yeah. There you go. Um, uh, thank you, Chico, for saying that. Yeah, people don't you know, understand that a, people do. There's some Muslim do, brothers like that. Yeah, there's a lot of people that do. <laughs> Mess my chance. You know, whatever. <laughs> but Jesus Christ, you guys, Billy, you gotta, you just gotta be family first. You gotta love your mama. Love people who know how to treat. They know, love their mom and whoever their guardian was. That is a female grandmother, auntie. You know, stability. I've gotta feel protected. You gotta like, you feel me? Love on me, all that. <laughs> You gotta, be, gotta believe in God, but be willing to whoop the devil out of nigga. Come on. Open the door at 5 o'clock in the morning and tell him to come out. You gotta know how to do that, too. You gotta know. If I, my thing is, the biggest thing in this entertainment situation is anxiety. Everybody has shit, some form of nervousness or whatever the hell people go through, you know, when it comes to that. And I, and I'm, I think overthinking comes with that, too, because when you overthink, you'll cause other shit. Like, as far as, now I'm nervous for no reason. Like, with, now you got a boo-boo. Now you got a boo-boo. Like, girl, what's up, you know? But I think, too, if you have a man in your life that knows how to be like, you know what, go back to what's taught or go back to some form of words of affirmation or scripture or just calming you, like, that's the shit I like. Like, okay, cool, I don't got to just be in my head. Now you could talk to me, you could be like, you good, babe, like, this opportunity gonna come or stop thinking about this, like, that's the shit I like. I don't like, I don't care you to feed me in between my legs, feed my mind too. Like, it's okay, I could, I, if I want to have sex with somebody, I could do that any day. But, what? <laughs> what? It's goofy, man. <laughs> if I wanted to have sex with somebody, I would, I could do that. I could be like, nah, nah, hey, how you doing? If I wanted to, but it's, with, you don't find other, a lot of brothers who know how to feed your mental and feed you and, you know, it's cool. Well, you trying to feed some of y'all, but y'all be full. Yeah, y'all be bullshit. Y'all be They done been around too many niggas. And I mean, mind be full. Yeah. Yeah. They know yeah. everything. You got to get some of that shit out. What if a nigga can feed your mind and can't fuck? <laughs> what am I thinking? <laughs> I mean, you just, I mean, that's just shit you got to think about. Nigga might be, my, he might be a mental stallion, but can't fuck for shit. Is that, does it mean more to you in that regard? Have both. Okay, so yay. You hear this, fellas? If you're on pretty beat, nigga. <laughs> yeah, you better both. be a smart, piping ass nigga. <laughs> you gotta be. You know, they can fight. You gotta, you gotta love the Lord. You gotta be able to fight. You gotta pipe. You gotta help with anxiety. And, and not even, let me be very clear. Not even only anxiety, too, because people have understand too. Anxiety is not Be your peace. Yeah, there like be some form of like, and not to say Chico, because Chico ain't my man, he my brother. Like how he pulls you aside and speak and say, you know what, you good, baby girl. Da 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 da. Woo. Just having that moment to just really know how to like center. Cause Boy, we could be, you could have been in there. We could be all over the place. Like, da, 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 da. Nah, I couldn't. And then, be you, in and then you could be like, I find your baby. I, I know uh, you, you, pretty V. You get the daughter to pretty V. She get to making them crazy ass faces. <laughs> you like you stop. <laughs> stop. You gonna fuck my nut up. All right? So just stop. that lip is the poking out. Just, just <laughs> calling, <laughs> just calling your significant other and saying, babe, let me tell you what happened to my little day without it being a whole other moment. Like, cause y'all be going all over the place. Just finding somebody to be like, okay, man, you know, I hear you, like, just do your thing. But see, I, I that comes with being interesting. Like, I think a lot of niggas be trying to fall in love, but you gotta fall in like. Like, I don't, I, mm. I, I can love you all day, but if I don't like you, I don't wanna be around you. No facts, that's I how I am to too. Like I got you, to you like you. Know what you. Mean? If I don't like you, then ugh. And I ain't the type of girl too, I don't know how to jump from dick to dick, place to play. I got to like you and I gotta stay with you and I gotta ride you. I ain't that type of person to hear here and all over the place. It don't work. If I, I gotta really deal with you to have sex with you. I ain't a 
One I stand, I will person. Well, you want to be the third city girl. That's going to be rough. They fucking well, on no. the scamming ass rich ass niggas. They <laughs> <laughs> fucking on the scamming ass rich ass niggas. You got a different perspective. I get stuck with the city girl that don't fuck. <laughs> 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 That's how niggas going to be. What they, what, they got, what they got, I'm not the third city girl. You know? yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Risha, shout out to JT, what they do. They can come on here too. We would love to have them on yeah. here. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> well, shit, man. This has been another rendition of the 85 South Show. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty V. Sorry, I couldn't be jumping on tables and being extra, honey. Cause I'm, need to I'm, do that. Cause, no, because I'm Clifford the Red, Big Red Doll right now, I'm leaky. So, you know. Right, what? <laughs> that was a piece of information. Don't put my head in it. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you don't try to pull my head down into the shit. Y'all know how I get out. Okay. <laughs> it is what it is. Leaky for what the tiki gonna speak. We could've did without that. We could've did without that. Put your lights up, daddy. Drop your, drop your Instagram again, in case they don't. Put your lights up for all my bad girl, my pretty girl out there, so my educator woman, entrepreneur, boss, girl, pretty woman, I'm going that already. Yes, I'm Pretty V, you already know what time it is. Y'all follow me on the gram, YouTube at Pretty V TV. Yeah. We got a, a lot of dope moments in the work. Just shot my first movie. Yeah. Um, couple of, what is it, what, what it was? What it was, I was in DC, Chico. In, in May, yep. It was in the city. I was in May, so it was in May, so I was in DC in Chico City, um, chopping it up and getting crazy, Remy Ma and Taronda and Tank and Run Up Russ Parr, like yeah. literally it's gonna be a really dope movie. Um, it's like American Gangster. So it showed a different range of me. I didn't, I was, it wasn't all comical. Yeah. It was some serious roles. I had to cry a little bit. So I can't wait for the world to see that as well. So we got some big things going on in the works and God is great. God is good. Well, you know, we love you over here. All the way to the Carlos, I just wanna say I love you so much. I love Eddie's for five stars. I see what God is doing in your life. I see the movements is going on. I just wanna mm -hmm. see y'all keep going. We like, appreciate you. We appreciate you, man. And like you say, like, you know, we didn't we didn't we didn't been through some trials and tribulations over yes. this way for real. Yes. And we still here, bro. Yeah. Like we yes. still Clay, we still out here. Still man. standing. We still yeah. out here, man. Antoine Fisher. For I'm real. still here. I'm still here. <laughs> for real. I'm still All the way. Man, it's a beautiful thing. And we gonna keep standing, man. Return of the Ghetto Legends Tour. Yeah. Coming to yeah. a city near you. Get out of this bitch. Shoot some pictures, man. Rest in peace, one. <laughs> Hell yeah. Just, hey, look, get in the pit. Sit that down, bro. We're in there. Everybody come in? Oh, yeah. This is real ghetto legendary shit right here. When the first date, bro? Shit. Soon? <laughs> July 17th? Yes, sir. Yeah, bitch. What my nigga yeah. Chad, oh, sensitive Thank ass. Thank y'all. Good to see you, baby. Dude, what are you talking about? Yes, Clay, 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 Clay. You stay down here, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Okay. You in? You in? You in North Carolina? Oh, so you never? This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and 85 South Show listeners get 10 percent off their first month at BetterHelp. Dot com backslash 85 south. I'm Clay Nagwood. Is there something interfering with your happiness or is it preventing you from achieving your goals? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. The service is available for clients worldwide and you can start communicating in under 48 hours. Get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. It's not a crisis line. It's not a self-help line. It is professional counseling done securely online. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. Visit betterhelp.com backslash 85 south. That's better help, better H-E-L-P, and join the over one million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional.